Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and welcome to Linux Tech Geek. So here recently, I've been playing around with some different window managers, trying to figure out the next window manager that I wanted to configure. And I started playing around with the awesome window manager. And the awesome window manager is pretty awesome, except the fact that it's configured in Lua. Well, then I hopped on YouTube and I started watching some window manager videos and I started watching some DWM videos and that got me thinking, you know what, I really, really do miss DWM. Um, so what I did was I got back on my computer, I installed DWM and I was thinking about some patches that I typically install with DWM and a couple of those patches um, DWM has, has just had a recent update they're on version 6.4 now and some of those patches have um, they went from the 6.3 to the 6.4 well DWM they did something kind of weird with the key cord patch so let me go ahead and flip over to the desktop and I'll show you guys what I mean. I'll show you guys what the new key cord patch is. Now, like I said, this thing is uh it, it's kind of it's kind of weird. I don't I don't understand what they did um or the reason they changed their key cord uh format. So what I'll do is I'll show you guys the new key cord um patch and how it's supposed to work. And then I'll show you someone else's uh, key cord, uh, um, D someone else's DWM config. So that way you guys can kind of get a uh, comparison to how much they actually changed this patch. Um, I'm still playing around with this, uh, my whole config here. So it it's not done yet, but I did want to, uh, I did want to show you guys and uh, hopefully the font is big enough for you guys. I know a couple of you have been messaging me on uh, YouTube telling me that my font size is still too small. I do apologize about that. So hopefully you guys can uh, read this on every device that you can think of. Um, so let me go ahead and get in. Uh, nvm config.def.h And... Let me show you guys this new this new key cord. Uh, I'm going to have to do that. So this is the new way to do key cords uh, here in DWM. So now they what they do is they make a reference. That's what this little... Uh, ampersand symbol is it's it's a reference in c and then they have key cord the key cord keyword and then they do it pretty much the way that they used to do it um if it has a two then it's a key cord if it's a one then it's a regular key binding so from the first little squiggly on over I understand that part because that's the way that it, it used to be in the 6.3 patch. What I'm having trouble with is this. Okay? I'm having trouble with the little ampersand and the key cord. And the reason I'm having trouble with this is because you cannot... Before, what you could do is you could... Um, if you wanted to make a new key bind, what you could do is you would, instead of having the spawn function, so you would do spawn, and then you could do uh, something like this, right? You could do uh, show, or uh, SHCMD, SH right? This is how you would do a, a, um, a command for a key bind before this patch right you would just put in whatever whatever you wanted inside of the shcmd okay and then you would make your key binding 
and you would be good to go. I'll show you guys an example uh, here in a uh, little bit. But I tried to do this, so I tried to, to use the old method on how to do key chords, and um, I got multiple, multiple errors when I recompiled uh, DWM. So then I hopped online, and I did some more research, and um, I found somebody's, um, their new 6.4 stuff. However, <laughs> to my surprise, not a lot of people use key chords. Um, and that's something that kind of threw me off because I was like, man, I was like, somebody out there has to use key chords, right? Key chords are amazing. All the configs that I've seen for 6.4, they don't use key chords. So what I did, though, is I... I kind of I ripped this off of somebody because I seen how they had Emacs set up in their config. And so normally the reason I, I like key chords so much is because I do something similar that DT does. So the way DT does it is like um, Super E, Super E, or Super E, E. That's, that's going to open up Emacs, right? And then you have Super E D, that's going to open up DRED. Super E, uh, I think he uses like um, A or X or something to open up his audio player. Something that that's a key chord, and that's something similar to to the way that he he does it. And um, you know, I've adopted that that um, that mindset the way that, um, and, and it's really helped me over the past six months to a year or whatever. And that's kind of the way I do my stuff now too. But I have a feeling what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to make variables for every single thing that I want to keep on. And to me, that's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, I really don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to keep digging online here and I'm going to uh, I'm going to see if I can find something um you know something that shows that uh that uh SHCMD uh word um I think that's a macro um that's what they're calling it in a way at least when I got the error that's what it kept kept coming up as like that I couldn't I couldn't do something with a macro um so yeah, I I I just I'm kind of lost. I don't know really what to do. Um, I'm gonna keep playing around with it, like I said, and hopefully I get it working. But I do want to show you guys the uh the kind of the difference. Um, so if I can pull up a uh, Firefox here, and I want to show you DT's config. Um, I think it's DWT one. And his is DWM distro tube and then config.def.h. Okay, so this is the old way, right? This is the old way. So take note of how they do it here. So they have the ampersand symbol and then the key, key chord keyword. And they do a bunch of different squiggly lines and all that crap. Well, they used to not do that. And I don't know why they've, uh, can I, let me try to zoom in here. I do not know how to zoom in in, uh, Firefox. Uh, here we go. So let me zoom in to kind of show you guys here. So this is the this is the old way, like I said, of how to do the, the key chord stuff, and you can see how DT does it, right? So what he does is he has, you know, mod key E, E opens up uh, Emacs, and then mod key E, A opens up EMMS, and then mod key E, D. That opens up DRED, and that's something similar how I've kind of 
you know, I started doing it, like I said, about six months to a year ago, and uh, I'm, just, I don't know, I'm baffled right now because I have not been able to figure this out. Um, I'll be making a lot more videos here on the channel about um, DWM. I did just, I really just wanted to get this video out there to you guys um, to let you know that. Um, if you like DWM content and suckless content, then uh, I'm going to be making a heck of a lot more of that. Um, I've switched over to DWM here kind of full time. And uh, there are some other D, uh, suckless tools that I want to get into. There's actually a file manager that I didn't even know existed um, that I really want to get like configured and... Uh, you know, see if it has any patches or anything like that. So I'm real excited. Um, hopefully, uh, DWM is a lot better than Awesome because I liked Awesome and everything, but the problem that I had with Awesome is A, it was configured in Lua. Lua and Lua is not a bad language, um, but it does take some time to learn if you don't know any of it, and which I don't know any Lua whatsoever. Um, and another bad thing about it was I couldn't get key chords to work. Now, I know there's a hack to get key chords working. Um, I know that. Um, but I couldn't find anything online about it. Um, I looked at DT's config. He must have ha erased it or because he used to have it in his config. Um, I couldn't find it in any of his configs. Um, so... Without having key cores and with Awesome being written in Lua, um, that's really what made me want to switch to DWM. Not only that, but DWM is awesome uh, after you get it patched. So, like I said, if uh, if you guys do like suckless content, then uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this video. And give me some comments down below. If you guys have gotten the key cord patch working for version 6.4... Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what I'm doing wrong because um, I'm, I'm stumped right now. So until next time, I want you guys to take care, be safe, and peace. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.